So you keep hearing about deep learning everywhere, and maybe even you want to become a deep learning practitioner, you want to implement it in your projects, but do you know what deep learning is actually? Or can you define it if someone asks you to define it? If not, don't worry about it. <laughs> That's why I made this video. This video is exactly for you. So let's get started. All right. So what is deep learning? In just one high level sentence, deep learning is a group of techniques that are based on neural networks that can learn complex patterns directly from the data. So of course, this is a big sentence. Let's chop it down and go step by step. First, what are neural networks? So neural networks are things that look more or less like this. And of course, this is a shallow one. You can have a deeper network, but we'll talk about that. Neural networks are based on neurons. So they have neurons. All these little dots you see are single neurons and they're kind of similar to the neurons that are in our brains. And how they work is they take an input, they calculate something and they give an output. And a lot of neurons come together and they create a neural network. And this neural networks more or less work in the same way. They take inputs, all of them do some calculation in the neurons and they give, they pass the output to the next layer and the next layer and the next layer. And at the end, they have an output. And once you give it enough training examples, once you give it enough examples, it is able to learn the pattern. And how it happens is you get examples, it comes up with an output, the whole network, I mean, and this output is co uh, compared to the actual output that's supposed to be, that's the real world uh, value uh, versus the prediction. And this error is calculated and this error is used or the difference between the real world data and what you predicted is used to correct the neural network. And at the end, you have a network that can actually uh, predict pretty accurately. But of course, just with this small explanation, you will not actually understand how they work. It requires understanding the math behind it, even though it's not really complicated. Of course, it might look a little bit scary at first, but it's really nothing to be worried about. You just need to study it a little bit and then you'll be good to go. Okay, so neural networks seem simple enough. Why is there so much attention on them? Why are there so many people working on them, right? It looks like they're just a bunch of neurons stuck together or connected together and it looks like a very straightforward approach to predict things. Well, actually, normal neural networks of the, th of the ones that we're using today can end up looking like this, which is a pretty complex system. So if you go further deep, closer to it, you will actually see more details. It will make it more and more complicated. Uh, so these are called different architectures. It could be CNNs, RNNs, GUNs, transformers, but don't worry about it if you don't know what those things stand for. So just think of them as variations to deep learning or different architectures. And the reason that there are so much attention on these ones is because they are producing the most exciting and most successful products of today. Well, okay, so this is one thing why there's so much attention on them. Another one is neural networks are not actually that easy to train. There are a lot of buttons, there are a lot of knobs that you have to twist and turn to find the right one. So in places this is called tuning, but it can also be, you know, coming up with your hyperparameters, deciding how to define or design your neural network. So all of these things contribute to why there is so much attention in deep learning right now. All of these different architectures of deep learning or these challenges that they face, uh, how to make it better, how to make it run faster, are things that at first intimidate newcomers. So that's why I've been working on my new course. It's going to probably be called hands-on deep learning, but I'm not really really sure yet. <laughs> it's going to be a course where you can learn deep learning from scratch. So that is, you do, would not need any deep learning or artificial intelligence or math experience uh, beforehand. Of course, it will be good if you have worked with machine learning a little bit before so you are um, able to understand the main concepts. So the difference this course is going to have is we are not going to look at things like we are going to become researchers. A lot of resources online right now uh, approaching things like they are a university course, so they're trying to give you a whole picture. But in this course, we will focus on just understanding as much as we need. And on top of that, doing hands-on exercises to bring you to a point where you can independently develop your uh, deep learning algorithms or uh, deep neural networks. Uh, so by the time <laughs> I finish this video, or by the time you start watching this video, maybe I already uh, published this course. I will leave a link below so that you can go check out the course. Or if I haven't come out with the course yet, you can sign up to the um, updates. So I'll send you about the updates of when the course is coming soon. 
uh, through email. So go check that one out. It's going to be in the description. So the last thing that I want to point out is where does deep learning belong in the world of artificial intelligence or in the world of computer science, for example. So I'll just show you that in a nice diagram. Uh, we have computer science, of course, and artificial intelligence is just one discipline of computer science. There are many other disciplines. And as you know, machine learning is part of this AI uh, discipline. Machine learning is basically one approach to artificial intelligence. There are many other approaches. So then you can see like, you know, little bubbles going further and further down. And deep learning is one specific approach to machine learning. So it's just one specific way how we approach machine learning, which is an approach to AI itself. Uh, if you want to learn more about this, if you want to learn how machine learning or data science belongs to the AI world, I will also leave a link to my free mini course where I explain the world of data science and AI uh, in a more structured way, let's say. Of course, now you might be wondering what is the difference between machine learning and deep learning, uh, but I'm planning to make this a whole series. So I will make another video about uh, specifically about the differences of machine learning and deep learning, and I will make it the next video in this series. So if you're interested in applying deep learning in your projects as soon as possible, do not forget to go check out the course uh, through the link in the description. If the course is already out, maybe you can think about enrolling in it. If it's not out, you can leave your email to get updates about the course and see when it's coming out uh, as soon as possible. And, you know, maybe you get some discounts when the time comes, but we'll see. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, I would be very happy if you give it a thumbs up if you did, and maybe even subscribe so that you can hear more from me in the future. Uh, and yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Have a nice day. I'll see you around.